Hey guys, welcome back to Geek J, where we make tech, tutorials and gaming simpler and better. Today we're upgrading FSR to 4.0.2 for RX 9000 cards and 3.1.5 for older ones. To demonstrate, we're going to be using Stalker 2. DLSS Swapper isn't updated yet, but renaming binaries gets us the latest features in some of the games. So let's dive into the zone. So just as a reminder, I'm going to run the game uh, as is right now. You can run it vanilla. I'm going to run it through my mod organizer to set up because I am running says a living zone complete and my save will not work otherwise. So let's just run the game. Let's go through the graphical options. I don't think we need to change anything over here because we haven't upgraded anything yet. But even if we did, I wouldn't touch anything at this step. As you can see, we are using the OptiScaler. So that's why it says DLSS, NVIDIA DLAA. So there is no upscaling taking place. We're just using the AppScaler for its anti-aliasing uh, components. We have DLSS frame generation on over here which means basically fsr frame generation and uh, everything else is on epic so yeah let's load up one of our save games over here okay so if we press the insert key on our keyboard you will be able to see we are basically using fsr 3.1.4 and the inputs are DLSS, the spoofing is on, and uh, the DLSS G, or basically FSR frame generation is turned on, as you can see over here. And yeah, everything is working as intended. So basically, if we hit Alt, Shift and L multiple times, you can also see that our anti-lag 2 is working as intended. There is a white square on the top left of our screen we can see our frames generated frames they're not the actual frames because we have the frame generation going on we have the actual latency and all that good stuff so let's quit out of our game so some of you might be wondering why are we not using a dlss swapper I'm going to demonstrate right now if we run DLSS Swapper. Unfortunately, it hasn't updated yet. So if we scroll down and check for updates, we can see there is no update yet as of the filming of this video. And uh, basically, if we go to the FSR tab and refresh, there is no 3.1.5 version over here in any of the DLLs, unfortunately. So we have to do this manually. So exit out of this one. And basically what we first need to do is grab the latest AMD Fidelity FX SDK 2.0 from GPU Open's official GitHub page. I'm going to have links in the description below. And then we're just going to extract that and head to the bin folder. So let's go ahead and do that. So as always over here at the releases, I'm going to click on the plus eight releases. And as you can see, the latest one says Fidelity FX SDK version 2.0.0. And we have some uh, notes over here. And basically this update brings FSR 4.0.2, the first uh, machine learning based in your rendering tech, uh, plus fixes for FSR 2.3.4 and 3.1.5. Um, and basically they're like fixing negative RCAS outputs and uh, frame interpolation in 3.1.5, which stops crashes from extra latency and LTAP deadlocks, which were reported with the previous 3.1.4 version. If we scroll a little bit downwards, we can see in the assets uh, part, 
uh, where it says fidelity effects sdk v2.0.0 zip this is the file we need to download so let's go ahead and do that so we have some previous versions over here just uh extract the correct version i usually like to do it this way just right click then go to show more options 7-zip and then extract to uh and then create the folder and as you can see i've already done this i'm gonna open this file over here I'm gonna go into kits fidelity fx and then the bin folder and as you can see we have the new uh, versions of all the DLL files and newer DLL files that uh, cannot basically be used in a lot of games as they are in this form right now. And uh, what I found out by reading some Reddit posts is we can rename these and uh, basically make them work. So uh, how I do this so I don't get confused I really like to just copy this over here. So I like to do a right click and then copy and then right click and paste right here. And it's going to create the exact same file with the uh, dash copy uh, in the name at the end. And uh, as you can see, this is the app scaler. And if we right click and then rename this again, uh, we can basically delete uh, the part that says AppScaler and the dash copy part. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go from this underscore part until the U of the AppScaler, then hit backspace once, and then I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, we have a new little file over here. Uh, a file name that says amd underscore fidelityfx underscore dx12.dll which is basically the exact same name of what is used in the stalker 2 uh, file naming for amd fidelity effects or fsr so far so i right click again then select cut then what i like to do is go into my game folder then stalker 2 binaries win64 and this is where the actual exe of the game is located and then we're gonna paste uh the new version over here as you can see this is the 3.1.4 version so right click and just click on the paste button and then replace the file in destination i'm gonna refresh and as you can see the new version says 4.0.2 so it basically contains, my understanding is basically contains both 4.0.2 and 3.1.5 upscalers in one DLL. And based on your hardware, it's going to be using the one that is compatible with your specific hardware. So um, let's go ahead and try this out. So let's launch the game once again. I'm going to load the exact same save file. And as you can see, we are at the exact same spot. And uh, let's hit the insert button and we're going to get our OptiScaler uh, menu over here. And as you can see, we are using the latest 3.1.5 and we are using the DLSS inputs over here. And yeah, everything is working as intended. So let's try the Alt, Shift and L buttons over here. And uh, we basically have Antilag 2 working as it was before. And we are using basically the latest AppScaler version. So basically we get smoother visuals and uh, some uh, fixed crashes and that's a good thing. So the zone keeps on getting some serious upgrades.
So that's it, stalkers. You've upgraded to FSR 4.0.2 or 3.1.5, depending on your hardware for Stalker 2 and many, many other games. We're just using Stalker 2 as an example, but you can do the same for many other games. Grab the SDK from GitHub. As always, you know where to find the links below. And yes, this takes some more tinkering, but we kind of have to wait until DLSS Swapper kind of updates and then it's going to make it a lot easier by using its GUI. If this boosts your game's experience, smash that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click on that bell to never miss another GeekJ video ever again. Drop a comment with your FPS gains or your fixed crashes, and don't forget, stay geeky, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.